What's up YouTube? Just wanted to address a couple of questions and queries that I've had on a few of the videos uh, over the past couple of days. Um, so Gary asked uh, whether I could demonstrate this uh, solenoid. Now Gary's had an extensive uh, history with working with pneumatics um, and he had really wanted to see throughout the whole video me testing uh, this solenoid after I blasted the insides of it. Now um, First of all, thanks Gary for your question, thanks for watching. Um, I'll just quickly show you over this. You can hear some leaking, but I'll just take you over here. This is actually just coming from there. I don't know if you can hear the extra noise there or whether it's gonna echo through here. Just trying to demonstrate that it isn't coming from this. If I get up real close to this, oh, you can still hear the um, hissing, but um, I'm hoping you can distinguish the, dis the difference between uh, uh, the cabinet over there and um, the fact that this isn't leaking but just to show that the air is all plumbed up and, and working in it I've got my foot pedal back on there so there we go you can hear the cylinders refilling dumps a lot of air out there and just again hopefully you can tell the difference here and I'll just so you can distinguish it I'll just head back over here and if I just give this a jiggle just to show that that's where that, that noise is coming from. Um, so I hope that addresses your, uh, your query there, Gary, um, and I hope you'll keep watching. Uh, they really are a, a good machine, and they, um, being non-abrasive, um, I'd suggest if you, were, if you had some kind of aluminium bore like, uh, like this one here, without a, a sleeve or anything in it, I don't know if I'd go too long on there, but I mean, it doesn't need much. If I just get into the light here, you can kind of see, I haven't really given it a good blast in there, I just gave it a quick flick. Um, but if it's a, a soft bore, like an aluminium bore like that on a small motor, I'd probably recommend against uh, doing too much blasting. But with the harder metals, like the insert that's in the solenoid, um, I'd feel quite confident. In fact, that's why, um, until I saw your query there, I hadn't actually even thought about testing it, because I uh, I was just so confident that it would have been alright. Um, so hopefully that addresses that one. Now I forget who the other question was from, but it was talking about how I set up my wipers. So I'll do a proper video on it, but this is just a motor out of a, a window, electric window winder in a, in a car. Now this one's really ugly because I just stuck it together in a hurry, um, but I will be doing another one for this cabinet here. Um, and I'll, I'll run through that demonstration there. But um, a little ugly, it's just a vehicle wiper that's been cut down um, and made to fit. But if I just hit the switch there, really simple. It's got no limit switches, no nothing on it. Um, it's it's nice, cheap, easy way of setting them up. And the, the reason I like to do them this way is because I can set the throw on them. So if I get a, like for example, a boat wiper or something, they tend to have a set sweep uh, angle on it. Whereas with this one, I can set up whatever angle I want. Um, like I say, this one's a bit of an ugly one, but when I do one for this cabinet, um, I will show that process um, of, of building it and setting it up. And the final one, uh, I think, was from uh, Richard, and he asked, why not just agitate with the air? Now, um, quite possible to do it that way. The reason I've never bothered trying to set it up was purely because uh, with the smaller compressors, I just lean through here so you can see a couple in the mess there. The smaller compressors, you're using all the air for blasting. Um, and I don't really want to divert any of that away uh, for agitation when I can use an electric pump for that and save the air for the blasting. Uh, and finally, a couple of questions on plumbing. Um, as you can see, uh, pumps set up in this one ready to go. I will be plumbing that up shortly and doing a bit of wiring So um, I'll, I'll cover that when I when I get to doing a little bit more on this box um, The only other question was on this and sorry I forget who it was from But all these fittings here these just came from the local plumbing store um, I'm not sure if they're NPT, uh, NPT or BSP um, but they're all just tapered pipe fittings and um, they screwed straight in there. They went in nice and tight They weren't uh, wobbly or anything um, I've just cut the handles off. These ones are pretty gross. They're only temporary. Hopefully I've got my new compressor set up coming shortly um, 
but they seem to do the job for now. As for the water building up in them, I drain them out every now and again. I had intended on building a frame and flipping the whole lot upside down, but um, like I say, it's only temporary, so I haven't bothered. Uh, they look ugly, but that's just um, a real surface surface rust and the powder coating is coming off. Um, as I say, just temporary, and um, hopefully it won't be too long before those are gone. Um, so I hope that covers everyone's questions uh, on where I'm at. Any others, don't hesitate to ask. I'll do what I can to uh, to answer them. Uh, hopefully over the next couple of weeks I'll get a lot more done on this and I'll put together a video of putting in the wiper, making the wiper, uh, and probably doing the plumbing uh, all at the same time. Um, so yeah, any more questions, keep them coming. Um, it's great seeing the community grow. Uh, once again, big thanks to uh, Justin's Trikes and also go check out Venom Chris's videos. Uh, on vapor blasters, he's got one real good one. It's a, um, it's quite a long video, but it's a full, full build, and that'll probably answer a lot of your questions. Anything else? Um, like I say, don't hesitate to ask me, um, or I'm sure either Justin or Chris are quite happy to answer your questions. So um, get involved, subscribe, and um, let's uh, see if we can grow this community.